Hello again to the second tutorial of the Magic Cube Prof app. We want to show you some of the special features of this app that can help you to learn how to solve the Magic Cube problem. The first special feature you see already here namely the mirror behind this magic cube. If you turn the magic cube, you see this is a direct mirror, mirror picture of this cube, but from the other side, of course. And so you can see which uh, small cubes, uh, either such uh, corner cubes, uh, this here is a corner cube or edge cube, if you want, and uh, this here is a border cube. You can see where, where uh, special border cubes or corner cubes uh, are. Uh, if they, you cannot see them from uh, your first view, then you can see it in the, uh, in the um, uh, mirror view. If you don't like that, you can switch this off. We have here a special pane with a setting possibility. You see here the settings and here find you the mirror. You find it, I show this to you here. And you can now touch this and then appears no cube. Looking at the picture you see now that the mirror is empty so th there is nothing nothing mirrored in your of your cube in the mirror and this means of course that you now have to check out manually uh, where the <coughs> uh, cubes are that you are want to handle the next time that is more difficult but if you like that more you can do this there's also the possibility to use a camera. This camera now shows you also the backside, however, uh, in form of a camera, so that the, uh, side, the sides are in the mirror. Here was in the mirror. This is mirrored to, uh, to the, uh, the other picture we have seen. We use usually, well, it's up to you, of course, but we use usually here the mirrored form. Uh, I think that this is uh, most adequate and helpful. Okay, this is one feature that you will not find on all other places. We come now to the next the second feature, and this second features are buffers. Buffers in which you can store either sequences of uh, movements so that uh, you can repeat them. We will see this as, as soon as possible. And uh, the other buffer allows you to store um, complete co um, constellations of the, um, of the magic cube. If you have, for example, change something here in your magic cube and you want to keep this um, constellation then you can use the store button that is this one here and now go back make something quite else but if you want to get back this constellation uh, constellation then you can touch the load button and it jumps back to that constellation so this is useful if you want to test out uh, some uh, situations and uh, see how you can solve them or if there are different methods you can solve them with the best method of course. Now I have moved the um, cube and uh, I can make these moves backward. Here is the backward button and this is automatically uh, stored the movement into this buffer. 
let me reset this buffer. We do this in that way that we make a movement from the reset button to this back forward button. In this case, this uh, is emptied. And I do this now, see it perhaps. This in this time, this is emptied and now nothing happens if you touch this. We start now from the usual um, standard uh, uh, constellation and make now any arbitrary movements, whatever you like to. And now we can use the back button to move backward and the forward button to move forward. If you want to learn a sequence of movements uh, with uh, which you can uh, reach a, a special constellation, then this is of course helpful if you have this, uh, can this repeat as often as you like to. Okay, these two buffers are available and you can store in the store and load butter buffer about uh, 10 or so constellations and the back and forward buffers store about 100 steps or similarly. Okay, now we come to the next feature. The next feature can be found here. The next feature are the configurations of the um, <clears throat> magic cube. We have always used the first one that is this here. This is the standard form. Let's now take another form, for example, this one, the white cube. The cube is only white, there's no color on, but that can, of course, not be used uh, since we will show it here, yes, touch here and have this. Um, that cannot be solved unless we have some other differences, and the differences here are the sizes of the The sizes of the um, small cubes, they are all different. And get the standard, um, uh, the standard constellation in this way. I show it you now here exactly. When you, or, uh, you touch your um, hand here at the reset button and move this down here, then you get the standard constellation. I make it again, like this here, and now I make this here, you see this perhaps, and then you get the standard constellation. And here in the standard constellation, all those cubes have different sizes. The smallest one is probably this here down, and the biggest one will then be that here up. And uh, you can solve this I will show you in another tutorial how you can this do this here. And um, yes, uh, that is interesting feature since you have here uh, no color from which you can detect in which corner your um, uh, small cube, your corner cube, uh, your corner cube or your border cube uh, belongs. And uh, you have to um, <coughs> only the size of the cubes. That is slightly more difficult, I think. But there are other possible configurations. For example, instead of the colors uh, of the uh, standard cube, we use pictures. This one here. I've taken some classic pictures from Dürer and Rembrandt and some other. and. Um, Perhaps you can solve this cube problem, this magic cube problem also with this, uh, with these uh, pictures. Other configurations which are even more difficult are, uh, for example, such a form like a head. I have it here. You see. 
that is a, a head of someone, a young Greek fighter or so. And uh, you can now try to shuffle this and now make it back again. You will understand that is more difficult than the standard cube. Let's return to the standard cube. We see here on the setting pane some uh, other uh, possibilities. For example, uh, if you look here above at this point here or this here, the, this gives the size of the butter. That means the number of um, the number of uh, places stored in the butter here configure here configurations and here sequence steps of, of uh, movements of the uh, corresponding um, planes. <clears throat> you can reset all of them, set this to zero. <clears throat> um, you can alter the speed, for example, of the movement. Um, we set this to zero now. Here are some speeds, the movement speed of the return uh, of the turning of the uh, planes um, can be altered here by simply press the up or the low button and uh, you shall look uh, which uh, what is the uh, best speed for you and it depends on you you can take what you want there. Also here are some other paints, these ones, that ones, those ones, and that I will explain now in the next step. You reach the help pane by pressing this button here. You see this stands help. Press it and this help pane appears. Here in this help pane, there are some uh, figures in. For example, I take perhaps this one here, and I think you see what is meant here, what we can do here. Namely, before the three corner cubes, this one is changed over here, and this one here, and this one here. This is expressed with these three arrows. I hope you can see that and understand that. If you press this um, pane here, then the system shows you a sequence with which you can solve this problem. You can now use the back and forward um, button to observe how this, this sequence uh, is handled. Uh, let me make this. If you finish correctly, then this, this picture appears there. Um, okay, what must you do to uh, reach this uh, uh, change of the constellation? Well, forward, right to the back. Turn the upper to the left. Left to the back. Turn the upper to the right. Right to the front. Turn the upper to the left. Left to the front. Turn the upper to the right. And if you do that, and now you must try to remember, you can repeat this as often as you want to, now must remember this, then you can uh, use this sequence to turn over the three um, uh, corners of this uh, cube, whatever there is. That is one uh, thing that you need to solve to do when you uh, want to solve uh, the cube systematically. 
you see here there are very many of these type of um, of um, sequences to solve problems. For example, here we have um, a sequence which exchanges two. border cubes, these ones are exchanged. Let's see how they is doing that. They are doing that. And you see what we have done. This border cube and this are exchanged. Here is the green side, here is the green uh, border cube and here is the red side and here is the red border cube. Those two border cubes are not exchanged, this one and this one, they are still on the old places. Also the outer sides are exchanged, but usually we make first the inner cubes, the border cubes, and then the uh, corner cubes. So uh, this does not, uh, is no problem here at this position. Thus you see that uh, there are some simple sequences, they have eight or so movements, uh, simple sequences with which you can solve some problems and come then step to step to the uh, to the um, <coughs> finish uh, that um, magic cube problem. There are many other such uh, paints with those um, um, sequences uh, that do something, for example, uh, there are some like, uh, I take another color here, um, remember this, there are some of these um, here like this one which exchange the outer uh, cubes, uh, the, the border cubes, uh, or they exchange the border cubes in this direction, or they exchange only the uh, outer cubes, they are more complicated. And um, you can do that and learn that and uh, solve with this, with some other methods, uh, these problems. There are many of them. Um, I, I will not uh, show you all of them. Well, um, how can we get this? So now we are back again. So you see, in this way, you can solve, um, you can uh, learn the techniques how to solve these problems by uh, adapting two or three or four, it's not very many, uh, such um, methods, such as sequences with which you solve these problems. It is still complicated enough, but uh, I, this can help you to come uh, to to uh, results and uh, after that you can always refine your abilities. I hope you uh, prom uh, you <clears throat> um, have understood everything and you can of course listen again to that and uh, I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you very much for your attention.